out. Hey folks, uh, I know you watching watch any of my videos, you noticed that uh, I've been talking about the gander trip uh, that we're going to take in, in, in August. Uh, you saw me do my canoe, get the canoe ready for that. Um, saw me get the, get the get the gear together and stuff, uh, getting ready for this trip. We did this trip last year, I'm looking forward to doing it again this year because there's a group of us going down the leaving, uh, going down the Gander River, look on some do some salmon fishing. So. That ha that's happening later on this week. So uh, this video, next video will be about the salmon drift, salmon fishing trip, but this video will just little, give you an idea of some of the prep work that I got into getting ready for that trip. Got, obviously we got our gear ready. I got uh, you know, rods and re rods and, and sleeping bags and tents and stuff, canoe gear and stuff. But uh, part of the process is uh, getting our food ready. And I, uh, I've done this before years ago. Uh, I don't know, many years from when we were backpacking, hiking, whatever, it's just putting together a bunch of dehydrated food. Uh, this video just take you through the process of a, we, uh, where I make uh, dehydrated uh, goulash. Goulash, the typical Newfoundland goulash, macaroni, ground meat, ketchup, you know, nothing, nothing fancy about it, but it's delicious. I love it. Uh, so uh, we'll take it, I'm going to show you, just go through the process of getting that ready to uh, take on the canoe trip for us. So, Hope you enjoy that, and uh, we'll catch up with you uh, when we're on the, we're on the trip, and uh, I'll show you uh, getting uh, rehydrating it and eating it in the woods, just to see how simple and easy it is, and how delicious it is. Great, great process. Uh, dehydrate food and take it for you, take it on your trip like that. Makes it very light and and uh, easy to do. So, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and. Uh, I'll catch up with you later after I get back from the gander. Hopefully I have some salmon. See you then. Folks, I got a bit, <clears throat> we got a bit of goulash on the go here today. Got the ground meat cook, cooked up. We boiling some macaroni here now. And this, this is in preparation for uh, our canoe trick is coming up. I'm gonna dehydrate some goulash here now. Um, basically cutting it some parchment paper to fit my uh, dehydrator machine. Cut some holes in it as vents for blow through. And uh, finish that up over here now. So I'm gonna get this one cut out. And uh, we're gonna make some dried goulash, or sorry, de dehydrated goulash. So uh, stick around and uh, take you to the process. So folks, now I got the goulash made, I'm gonna add the main ingredient, ketchup. I'm trying to do this with one hand, guys. Let's see. There's no measurement here, let's just see what we got. Just add ketchup until we're Happy with what we got, and then we'll put it into the dehydrator over there. I would say this is about a cup, a cup and a quarter, we'll say. Give this a stir. Now I won't go to the recipe for my goulash guys, basically ground beef and ground meat, spices, Macaroni and noodles, some mushrooms, onion, garlic, and I put in some hot peppers from the garden today, actually. So good, homemade goulash. So that's about what I'm looking for. That orange, orange color. Now we'll get ready to put it on the dehydrator. Just lay it on the parchment paper, folks, and spread it out. As flat as you want. Like so. Just keep it in parchment paper. It doesn't matter if it goes down. I got parchment paper on the bottom of the next one too so this is what you're looking for spread it out like that now do three layers of this now three trays and let it go most likely you go overnight to our force dried up and then I'll vacuum seal it and put it in the backpack perfect for going on my canoe on the canoe trip 
All right, folks, I'll talk to you later as we get this uh, dried out. So we got all three trays filled up here now. We got vents in amongst them, and uh, we'll set it going. So just plug it in and uh, find the cover, put it on. Folks, we got our tree trays done out, got her started. So we'll leave her sit there now for uh, many hours and come back to when she's done. Getting crispy. So folks, it's been about six hours now in the dehydrator and it is crispy. I'm going to take this now and uh, put it into vacuum seal it into bags, put it away and uh, for our trip later on this week, I'm going down the Gander River on canoeing. It's a very light, easy meal for the backpack. Uh, great if you're hiking or a hiker. I've seen people do this also with the uh, chili. Chili takes a lot longer to uh, dehydrate, obviously, because there's so much liquid in it. But uh, goulash works great. I've done this before, and it's delicious. So I'll, I'll take you along the process now. We vacuum seal it, and once we cook it up on the trip, you see how it comes back to life and how well it works. Thanks for watching, guys, folks. These are so what I have, folks. It's crispy goulash right now. I do it first and then just put it in the, in the bowl. You can see it's crispy. I'll take all this now first. Actually, what I will do, I think, I have three tracks, three, three trays, so I'm going to make a meal out of each one. This will rehydrate quite easily. When you get to a campsite, just boil water. You don't need a whole lot of water, but just enough to rehydrate it. Put it in the bag. I should use a spoon, but okay. And you're only working on meal sizes. There you go, dehydrated goulash. Nice and light for the backpack. Easy meal to uh, put in your pocket, actually. You know, think if you're a hiker. Uh, great idea. I've seen, like I said, I've seen people do I've done this with chili. I've done this with chili in, in the past. So uh, this, is a, this is just a variation of this. I've done, I've done goulash before, it's, it's great. And many times in the woods, especially with the uh, with the Duke kids and stuff, it was great. I don't use it. For, I don't spill it all over the floor this time. stuff so I'll get the rest of it bagged up right now and uh, we'll put it in the uh, I usually just lay it in the freezer and leave it there like that but I'm taking this with me now the next couple of days we're going, uh, going on the Gander River so I'll show you when I get to eat it up in the woods talk to you later folks